the economic challenges facing the country with the coronavirus spreading rapidly is the political turmoil in the country hindering the government in overcoming the challenges it must have some effect on the handling of the economy how would you handle the coronavirus and is the government on track in putting a lid to it well i don't know whether i can be more effective or not but uh, i had put in place all the plans for recovery some of the plans i think can be implemented uh, we can for example help the rural people to earn more money uh, nowadays uh, marketing is through online is online the market has become very large in fact the world has become a market and we use online marketing uh, we would be able to increase the income of the people in the rural areas with their very uh, their products uh, probably produced by hand but if the demand is higher we can introduce some simple machine to increase the production all these things have been thought of and i think um, to a, some extent it will mitigate the the uh, ill effect of uh, the virus investor confidence is very low the ringgit is among the weakest currencies in asia how do you think investor confidence can be boosted what measures investor confidence is very low not only for malaysia it's for the whole world because if you invest and you cannot sell you don't invest you see today transportation movements of people all these things are affected and uh, consumers also are affected because consumers are not buying the usual things they like to buy they're concentrating on buying food and maybe health products uh, those areas may be may attract some investment but uh, the usual production of uh, uh, television and other uh, things that we are very familiar with uh, they may not find customers the sales will go down in fact the sales are already gone gone down and of course uh, you don't invest in hotels or travel agencies or, or transportation because all this will come down in terms of goldman's involvement in 1mdb how did talks end before your government lost power well goldman offered to give us about a billion us dollar we estimated uh, the ag said told me that uh, the goldman owes us about 6.5 billion us dollar 1 billion or 1 billion 1/2 billion is not enough we tried to persuade to for a settlement out of court but uh, goldman sachs was adamant that they will not pay any more than what they have uh, post, uh, suggested and so we be now in the courts and also central to 1mdb is jo lo financier jo lo it is pretty mind boggling that nobody seems to know where he is and he can't be located do you know where he is and what is the difficulty in locating jo lo well uh, i think he has found asylum somewhere and the people who gave him that him asylum is not forthcoming not uh, helping us to uh, arrest him so we have uh, no choice but uh, to accept that he is able to hide from police the uh, interpol has not been able to do anything do you know where he is hiding i don't know no you've not shortlisted a couple of countries that providing uh, him asylum you know i i you know they are very sensitive if you accuse them they might get very annoyed